A group of EKU students is going green for Earth Day. They're helping rid part of the campus of its weed problem, and they're doing so with the help of some farm animals. WKYT's Jordan Valines explains how sheep are helping to clean up. It's a story that's new at 5:30. This is one way to get rid of weeds. But on this Earth Day, we want to introduce you to nature's weed eater. It's a lot. It's a lot cheaper option than mowing. Let me tell you. The sheep are on EKU property, Elmwood Estate. This is 20 acres of newly acquired land that has some unwanted vegetation, an unsightly Japanese honeysuckle, and that's where the sheep come into play. Naturally, take out, graze out a lot of the invasive species here. Instead of using chemicals or like man work, to use the animals instead. Ted Hur, a junior here, will study how effective this all natural project can be. His team is even using alpaca to guard the sheep. The goal here is to weed out specific plants to help the native trees and grass grow. And they use it a lot of places on fence lines where they'll bring in goats and sheep to eat down the stuff on the fence lines and it actually will get rid of them. This story comes with a twist. Time to take a break. We got one actually having a baby right now. Yeah, that's what, uh, that's what he said. Yeah, we weren't expecting that. Moments later, we find out there are two expected. Yeah, yeah we didn't notice it, and then all of a sudden she comes running around the, from the front side, and there's, <laughs> oh, okay. The crowd is getting anxious. Just let them, let them have their, let them relax. And moments later, birth. Aww. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah, it's a really exciting day that is on all aspects. In Richmond, Jordan Valines, WKYT. And that is the miracle of life. Pretty cool today. The sheep will eat the honeysuckle weeks at a time. At least one alpaca will be on hand to stand watch and guard for the sheep.